Hello, Scrabble here, coming at you with another quick look on the Nintendo Switch. Today we're going to be looking at Detective Gallo. So I like to start off my quick looks, if you're not familiar with it, take a look at the icon on the Switch. Here it is, quite beautiful, fits in, it is lovely. Enjoy very much. I should mention that uh, this game was provided by Mixed Bag Games, who made this game and my understanding is it's got pretty good reviews on steam the pc version has good reviews looks like a classic lucas arts style adventure game which has me pumped and if you take a look the trailers the art style looks really good so reached out looking to try this one Music sounds good, classic detective, and as you can see, I really, really enjoy the art style here. Oh, I was like, there's no button prompts, the buttons aren't working. Plus and minus aren't working, but here we go, we got a cursor. Okay, I got a new game. Options, let's check those out. We got speech, music, sound, pointer speed, we'll keep everything default for now. Let's say okay, and there's a check mark here. No. Uh, oh, hey, look at this. Info. Story and game design. Francesco de Angelis. Maurizio de Angelis. This is an Italian game. Expagged Games is in Italy. Programming, GUI design. As you can see, it's a very small team. Gallows Sense. Looks like it's the right trigger. We do have menu, cursor. Oh, touchscreen support. So that's great for handheld mode. If you're looking for that. Examine, interact. Whoa. Got additional programming, testing, game, music. All good to check out. Okay. How about the light? No. Clock? No. Gallo himself, no. You All right. really want to start the story from the beginning? Too bad. Wrong choice. <laughs> it's like, is he gonna let me start really from later? Yes, sir. Start us up. You asked for it. This is supposed to be like a noir detective story. Adventure Productions presents. Footprints, games, creation. There are moments when life does not forgive. She looks you straight in the eyes and she slams you to the ground with a jab on the mug. Sometimes you have the strength to get up. Other times, you just want to forget. Like when you're forced to say goodbye to an old pal. Poor Mackenzie. He was always ready to offer me a drink. After what happened to him, I'll have another drink in his honor. There was a time when I only needed six good reasons to clean up the whole city. Tonight, instead, the only thing I'll be cleaning up is this glass. Or two. Or three. Or four. Detective Gallo, I think you might have a drinking problem. As many classic detectives do. Come back when you have the money. My hero. <laughs> do you want to cheer up with my candies? Didn't you just hear I have no money? Candy Bob, I barely disposed of the sticky junk you gave me earlier. Oh, you thought of me. Yeah, I always think how to get rid of you. Oh, will you accept my unteenth fudgy offer? I, I would need Only that. If you don't chase after me armed with a candy cane this time. Did you know the globby globby reflect my love for you? When they get sticky on you, they will never come off. The same goes for you, Candy. I hate this city. I hate this neighborhood. <laughs> the only place I can find solace is my office. What's wrong with my office? There's a stranger in my office, and he seems to be dangerous. I have to show him who's in charge. He does not look dangerous. Maybe I can use one of my inventory items on him. Do I have anything other than globby globby? I, really I do. Seems logical. OK. 
Okay, so I want my inventory. Where is it? Ah, the top. Okay, cell phone. We get the globby globby. We got a revolver. Let's use the revolver on him. Oh, good evening. You're finally here. Your cactus was making me feel uncomfortable, M M Mr. Gallo. Detective. <laughs> Detective Gallo. I I'll tell you everything if you stop b b b pointing that gun at me. Do you think that's easy with all this sticky sugar on my hands? <laughs> my name's Phil Chloro. Uh, I was waiting for you. You have no appointment. The door was locked. Can't even wash them. I don't have a bathroom. Give me a good reason not to shoot you. All right, you no we'll be nice. And the door was locked. Actually. Uh, you have no secretary, and the door was open. <laughs> All my beloved m -m -m majestic plants, they were absolutely p -p 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 perfect, and a second later, butchered. <laughs> How beautiful they were! Your c c cactus in comparison. My cactus is huge. My cactus is none of your business. Title of my sex tape. <laughs> I love. Now this might bug some people, but I love that the lips don't line up with the voice acting. Right? That's like really classic adventure style. I hope you don't think this will be I free. Don't think all this will be free? Uh, no, of course not. I work night and day. Nothing scares me. I'm ready to take any kind of risk in this dark and dangerous city. I know you're scared of Phil. hero has his price, and this hero prefers cash in advance. You are a true pro 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 professional. Rule number one of Gallo. Be competent, critical, and careful. The famous three C's of Gallo. Huh? Uh, sure. Uh, here's a generous advance. Ooh. Uh, the crime scene is at 8 Rhododendron Road. I'll wait for your arrival. What is a rhododendron? The speed of the law. <laughs> Slow and unrelenting. <laughs> a rich and kind person, but completely out of his mind. We've got to go. Duty calls, Thorn. Is Thorn my First, partner? I need to lock my office. Ah, if I remember correctly, the key is hidden behind your cardboard cutout. Oh, it's a cardboard cutout. It's even sharper than the prickly pear. Got this envelope the over here. collect dust in my pocket. Yep. Rule number 70 of Gallo. There's always a good reason to post a sticky note. The problem is knowing which one. Hmm. All right, Thorn's cardboard cutout. Thorn's key. Nobody will ever try to test my patience. Or, or my, my revolver. revolver. I'm uh, once again master of my own office. Now I can leave. Yeah, we can't leave yet, though. This is an adventure game. We have to check everything. It'd be a good idea if it didn't jeopardize the balance of my desk. Ah. So we need something to go under the desk. Lose time filing paperwork? I'm a bird of action. I should admit, I don't know how to use it. That's but I fine. I prefer to say I don't like using it. <laughs> it doesn't turn off. It's a continuous consumption model. <laughs> Every time I want to turn off the light, I have to contact the electric company. You, you could just unplug it, man. Uh, Rule number 303 of Gallo. Collect even what you don't know the use for. Except for grandfather clocks. Something behind this picture? No, I can't do that. It would make the crack oh, okay. wall even more visible. It's covering a crack. Over the golf bag. I'll take only one. Excellent. I hope we get to beat someone with it. I prefer to leave it closed for now. I'd prefer to open it. I can leave my office. I'd better hurry. I don't want to leave yet. I'm not interested in... Okay, do I have anything? Generous advance is nice. I don't have anything that would hold up the desk, so... It's time to go. Ah, nothing is compared Oh, there's a note at the back of the door. Office. Rule number 70 of Gallo. There's always a good reason to post a sticky note. Okay, we've already heard that one. My I, I guess I can't snow. get it. All right, let's I go. click twice on the red arrow when I want to hurry, which is most of the time. 
Okay, Detective Gallo, we are off to solve the mystery. Done. I've locked the door. I'm always a man of my word to myself. I like that Candy has my picture in the heart there. Hello? Hey, Gallo. I'm your informant. I know who you are. I'd recognize your voice in a thousand. Information of the day. The armored truck will pass by tonight, disguised as a florist's van. I pay you to tell me useful things, not to waste my time. You don't pay me at all. <laughs> but I'm doing this for professional ethics. Crime doesn't wait. I'll call you back as soon as possible. Pain in the ass. <laughs> I must get to the crime scene in 8 Rhododendron Road. Or my name isn't Gallo anymore. Uh, I think your name will continue to be Gallo. But I kind of wanted to check those knives out. I'm Detective Gallo. You came earlier than expected. I hate people who are bigger sticklers than me. There must be at least one important clue. I have to find it. Alright, we're gonna find this clue. Okay, stop snoring. My treasures g killed without mercy. You must find the killer and make him pay. Uh, with your experience and p p professionalism, you'll surely succeed. Don't you worry, Mr. Chloro. Thorn, don't you detect a strange pungent odor as well? Are you talking to your cactus? It's my partner. <laughs> I have no patience for crying, Chloro. Must be very smart. And now you congratulate a crazy killer. I value work well done. In such cases, I can count on my gallows sense. All right. I must remember that I can click on the icon of the notebook to consult the actual goal at any time. I will remember. I to read your suggestions, Thor. I wonder why I always do this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if I hold the trigger button, we get to see the gallow sense, which shows us everything we can look at. Ooh, what a That's convenient, that way we don't have to play Hunt the Pixel. Ah, battery? Shell casing. Damn. That's slightly annoying. I prefer to I thank you on the behalf of my tenderum lymphaticum. <laughs> That vase could be useful. It's too late for this bonsai anyway. <laughs> Don't you offend the memory of my trapezium dwarfus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just going to take it. Uh, I don't know, plant number one. Let's take a look. Why should I take unidentified evidence with me? Well, if I had a gardener's manual, it wouldn't Why be unidentified, would unidentified it? Unidentified evidence with me. I know plants. My most precious treasures. Why? Except for my diamonds. And my <laughs> jewels. Diamonds and jewels, those are all fine. So, we can't look at these unidentified plants. Somebody has already used it once too often. Okay, search what it for clues, disgrace. man. Let's take a look at the big picture. It look great in my office. Except that I would n never give it to you. Okay. Do you want to find your stuff or not? Do you want us to figure out who killed your plants? See any reason. You better talk to me. No. Too small. Too small. No. Too big. Uh, this one looks just right. No. Too square. Or not. That's a terrible slaughter. No, it's too tall. <laughs> okay, I want to look at the extendable trimmer. Yeah, no. If you need need it for the investigation. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Let's take it. I don't want to take my raincoat off. Well, someone. Oh, it's Phil's. Do you want to go through my pockets? I have nothing to hide, Detective. Then yes, I want to go through your pockets. Okay, I trust you. All right, I did look at those. Uh, my violet ultra purpleus has seen its. You c c can't move it. 
To take the shell casing from under the sofa, I will need something very long. All right, well, we got the golf club. We could probably use that. No, I want to use it like you would a real golf club. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to use the trimmer then. It's a tragic tragedy. <laughs> Easy breezy. Is it gonna roll, like, roll now, away again? Who am I going to t t talk to on those endless afternoons? Oh, got it. Okay. There's something written on it. It's too small to read it. I don't think I have a magnifying glass. Well, I'm done. I'll miss your yeah. mistake. Already done? Have you found who the killer is? Dude, it takes time. You won't believe it. But no, no, <laughs> not yet. See you soon, D -D -D Detective Gallo. You're a true professional. Something like that. I'm a something. So I wish it had to let me use the golf club on the batter on the uh, shell casing. I find it annoying when there's multiple solutions to a thing and both the solutions don't work. I must find out what's written on the shell casing. So I'll have a lead to follow. All right, we need a magnifying glass. Hi, Gallo. How's it going? Same as usual. The city keeps claiming innocent victims. Vegetables this time. Damn. Damn. Yes. I have to enlarge the writing on a shell casing. You could use my microscope. Okay. Will you loan it to me? I lent it to you years ago. <laughs> you still keep it in your safe. It's like I've lost it forever. Rule number 17 of Gallo. Don't throw... Click. Don't throw... Damn, what was rule number 17? <laughs> Good luck, Gallo. All right. Come on, taxi driver. In your line of work, you see many faces. Questionable or not, I suppose. It's that uh, red van down there, that red truck. actually making me feel sleepy okay do I have a way to wake him up it seems to be unavailable no definitely you cannot wake him let's go to the van I don't think this will be my first time well the van's clearly running so all right we'll head down then we cannot taxi back to the office gonna walk the long way <laughs> Or the short way. Bucket of paint? We'll check that out. Maybe I can use it to paint the bathroom. When I have one. Maybe I can use it to uh, hold up my desk. I must have something to send. And someone to send something to. Well, I have an envelope, so that could be something no, to happen in the future. Put the city into chaos. Hm. Uh, I want yellow scents. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. I'd put the city... I don't want to move it. Of course you don't. We have no reason to. When I retire, and hang my revolver on the wall, and decide to open a club. It seems unlikely. I steal this sign in the face of the barista. <laughs> I prefer eating the food more than reading about it. All right, so who's this guy who is hitting on my girl? Since she has a customer, I surely won't draw her attention. Listen. So, did it's a pretty you sketchy looking guy. I'd like something very sweet. The candied chocolate meringue is the sweetest sweet I have. I really advise against it. Listen to me. Huh? I'm not sure I'd like it. So try the triumph of the five sugars, a specialty of the house. Wouldn't it be too sweet? Yes. Huh? No. I'm not sure. I need to think about it a little more. Since she has a customer. That guy looks questionable. Alright, how do I get to my house here? I saw a wall. Right there. I might want to, but how? Perfect. I'm not sure how to scroll the screen. And trash bins? 
Anything interesting in there? I'll try that. Only when I don't have anything else better to do. No, nothing interesting to do in the trash bins. They're old and blunt. I don't take second-rate stuff. We're just gonna leave those knives in the street. It's the best place for them. With my bare hands? I hate the catchphrase commercials. I don't know how that has to do with anything, my friend. All right, let's go in. Check out the safe. Also, see if I can put the paint can under the desk. Just want to get that manual out. Uh, we got a bonsai vase. Maybe I could use the bonsai vase on the desk. If I really have to put something else there, I'd like to improve the desk's appearance at least. Uh, a wooden object. So it's got to be a wooden object. So you definitely won't take the paint, huh? I don't understand. Yeah. All right, can we open the safe? To take the microscope, I need to input the combination numbers, which I don't remember. I wrote them down in three notes I hid in the office. I'm really a secrecy genius. Okay, hidden notes. The second number of the combination. Gotcha. So earlier, I wish it just had to let me take it then. That's gotta be a note, right? The bookmark has to be one. Here's the first number of the combination. And what a shame. Really gave the book a certain sophistication. And, and me. At least it seemed like I'd started to read it. Do, do, do. The music's nice. I like the music. Uh, we don't want to use the facts. I should admit, but I prefer... Hmm. Here's the advantage of never locking anything. Chewed on pencil. Sure, we'll take it. Um, oh, the doormat. Maybe it's under the doormat. I did not move that earlier. Rule number 304 of Gallo. If you have to collect something, start with your ideas. Okay, are you going to move it? No, we're not going to move it. Um, Let's check the other side of the cactus. Don't see it. Uh, da, 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 da. How about behind the pitcher? Will you let me move the pitcher now? I can't do that. Take the I okay, I'm guessing it's gonna tell me that we only have. Yeah, we got three, we got five, we don't have the next one. Wait! Oh, blank paper. Um, let's take the pencil. Here, now the number is visible. Ha ha! The was 358, just like the number of my soft cases. Logical, natural, easy to remember. Now I can open the safe. We're I genius! Rule number 100 of Gallo. If you don't remember something, remember a way to remember it. <laughs> oh, Gallo. Your rule is silly. No, it gives my safe a purpose. Okay, so we can't take it out of the safe, but we can take the shell casing. Use it with the microscope. There's something written on it. Veg 68. But what does it mean? The plot thickens. But I'm sure that by following this lead, I'll find the murderer. At least, so they say in the movies. Hi, Gallo. How's it going? What can you tell me about the Veg 68 shell casing? Is it from an anti <laughs> I don't know. But you could find out by talking to the city's alternative arms smuggler. You'll recognize him because he will greet you back after you say the secret passphrase. And that would be? Usually it's written on the plasma membership card. Membership card of what? Plasma. Privileged License Armed Smugglers Association. To become an associate, you have to send your photo by mail. You'll receive your card with a secret passphrase by fax. Damn bureaucracy. I'll find that smuggler, and I'll bring him to justice. Assuming that he's really smuggling anti-vegetables weapons. I'll bring him to justice in any case. Rule number 111 of Gallo. If you don't have a green thumb, at least be trigger happy. Nice. Nice, oh, Gallo. Yes, I almost forgot. The secret passphrase is written in glowing ink, so it's visible only in the dark. When you give me this kind of information, I pay you double. Pay any money. To get out of my face. 
I have to show the smuggler card with the secret passphrase around to find out who fired the bullet. All right, so we have to go through the door back to Candy's shop to get my picture. Then we have to put the picture in the envelope and use the mailbox to send it to the secret organization. I can get this done. I won't be deprived of the <laughs> only way to keep you with me. Unless you can find something even bigger. Something bigger. If I own something, it's not to discard like this. Hmm, what can I give her? It's got to be bigger. How would you like this phone? Uh, that's not... A, oh, okay, so I can call the electric company to turn off the light in my room. Here, take back your sticky junk food. No, I don't if want that. Don't like it, I can give you the super gummy jumper, teddy bear. No, I'd rather keep the lesser of two evils. The stickiness is going to come in handy eventually. Uh, but I need something bigger. Something bigger. After what happened. Hmm. What can I get that's bigger? Do we have anything bigger? Like if the cardboard cutout was of me instead of Thorn, we could use that. Hmm. I can't do that. Hmm, what am I supposed to use here? We gotta use something to get that picture. Alright, let's head over this way. I'm not sure what this way is. I haven't gone this way. Emporium. We got baby punk. <laughs> baby punk. Hello, little one. Being a tad taller doesn't entitle you to treat me like a fool. And who entitled you to talk to me like this? That's a good question. Everyone thinks a newborn can't be a part of adult society. <laughs> They're right. They underestimate me, though. I have a lot of innate qualities. I can paint very well, for example. Oh! Boy, what a rebel talent. All right, paint me. All right. Again. I hope not. <laughs> it's too late, buddy. I'm gonna give you this paint. Not without a good reason. No, I have a good reason. I want you to paint a photo of me or a picture of me. Hello. Being a. Have you got a purpose for your lonely existence, or are you just an insolent good for nothing? Of course, I'm trying to rob this pirate gadget vending machine. <laughs> got it. As soon as I find a way to do that, I'll go storm the entire world. Sure you will. You have a loose tongue, brat. The world forces you to grow <laughs> up fast. Ain't that the you truth? You have time to change your pacifier, and you're out of a job. Everyone thinks a newborn can't be a part of it. They're right. They underestimate. I can. Boy. If only I had the opportunity. I'd subvert the established order. Now you're going too far. This world doesn't leave any space for the young. And for the very young like me. I foresee very tough times. It's tough for everyone. Oh, look, can you paint the, my face on the wall can of my paint office? paint my face on the wall of my office? No. First, I need a favor. Which is? Help me rob this vending machine, and then we'll talk about it. Sure. We'll meet again. I hope not. All right, vending machine. To make it work, I should insert a coin or use other methods. Well, he wants me to rob the vending machine. He didn't ask me to pay for things in the vending machine. There's a reason I don't even use the chair in my office. What's the reason? Piles of coins. No, they're all fake. Ah, okay. 
I'd put the city into chaos. I find really cynical to drink other people's tears. Oh, I see. That's a tear. All right. Well, let's check out this glass. No, thanks. Okay. But he does not want that. What can I use to rob the vending machine? Let's try the golf club on the vending machine. I need something even more specific and powerful. A revolver? Yep, there we go. Paint my picture. The hard-earned gadgets are always the best. Hey, how do you do that? You'll huh. know as soon as your first tooth comes in. Isn't he a bird? Why don't you don't most birds not have teeth? Too. If there's one thing I hate most in the world, it's pink. Well, it's perfect for my desk, so we will take that, and it's going to go on my desk. Never know. All right, paint my picture now, please. Hello, little one. Being a... You have the one you know every they're right. They are, I can come on, I hit the wrong button. Now you're this one. There we go. Can you paint my face on the wall of my office? I robbed the vending machine <laughs> for you. You owe me a favor. I need a paintbrush with soft bristles and a long handle. Otherwise, you can forget about your pretty painted face. Pretty face? Do you prefer mug? The new generations feed on both milk and cynicism. No doubt about it. All right, we'll meet again. I hope not. I'm going to run to my office, stick that leg there, get the book. Because then we'll be able to identify the plants and actually get some info out of them. Uh, where do we go here? Wooden leg. He said he needed wood. We got wood. We needed a leg. We got a leg. A good exchange, I'd say. Perfect. All right. So we need a paintbrush. Where do we get a paintbrush? I guess that we get a paintbrush up here. Check out the Emporium. I don't have any use for the building. It's the contents I find interesting. Uh, yeah. Oh, I had to go on the door. Alright, you got a paintbrush in here? Emporium should have a paintbrush, I think. Ha! <laughs> Look at that guy! Good evening. Are you... The best stocked wholesaler in the city. Precisely. Hmm. Do you really have everything for everybody? Or is that just a publicity stunt? It's pure marketing. It works, don't you think? Okay, but what I need... Goodbye. Say I'm... hello to your cactus. How do you know I have a cactus? Ethnic souvenirs. Liquor. UFO. Barbecue. Got a fire extinguisher, cash register. Uh, not for sale stuff. What is that? Baseball no, bat? That yeah. That item is not for sale. Why not? It's the only item belonging to my personal collection. That bat belonged to John Gallo. My namesake, even. Mm hmm. Excuse me. I'd like to buy everything in here without paying cash. Don't worry. We give credit to those who have a generous advance like yours. <laughs> but how did you... I have a nose for my client's needs. It's a matter of professionalism and experience. It seems soft and handy. And with high-quality bristles, perfect for every type of paint. Rule number 56 of Gallo. Better bristle up your crest than wear fake hair. Okay, so... We have this. 
And we're gonna mix it with the extendable trimmer, maybe? Example of a telescopic paintbrush. See, because the trimmer's got that goop on it, so it seemed perfect for a paintbrush. All right, come on. We can get there. Come see us again. We restock our supply constantly. I'll keep that in mind. And let's give the paintbrush to the kid. Here you go. Once I send away, I think that'll be the end. Wall of my office. Dry? Okay, I thought you were gonna ask for the paint separately, but we can do this too. Now the bristles are dipped with paint. Can you paint my face on the wall of my office? Okay. I'll Excellent. I'll customize the wall of your office before you can say wow. Wow. <laughs> Already done. If you don't believe me, go check. Yeah, I believe you. We'll check it out, though. But I still think I need the picture from Candy. And then I have to give her whatever's in my office. Impossible. Even if I wouldn't mind having it in my office. <laughs> hey, can I have my photo now? No, I can't give you the photo. Why not? Why not? Have you seen that beautiful mural I had painted for you? Yes, but it's not romantic enough. Can you explain that a bit better? You kidding me? I would, if you just gave me a chance. One evening, me and you, together. I don't think I got another yeah, evening. I think this I'll is it. I'll find the solution on my own. <laughs> So, for me, I think the solution is to take the sticky stuff, maybe. Throw that on the wall. In a heart, right? Actions like this. No, he does not like that idea. It's already. Yeah, I know it's colored. I was just looking for something. A terracotta vase. I got rid of what remained of the bonsai. Hmm. Now I'm a little stumped. It's not romantic enough. How does one get it to be more romantic? I really wanted to send away this letter before I ended the video, but I'm probably going to have to end it before that. Ooh, flower? I hate plants if they're not succulents or useful to my investigation. Well, maybe I can use them to make it romantic. You know? Yes. I'm Detective Gallo. I'm here to identify some plants with my gardening manual. Don't talk to me. No, too square. Hmm. It would look nice on my mural, though. Something a little more romantic. This plant is called Pompous Luminous. <laughs> I'm not interested. All right, not interested. What else we got? This plan is called Grouchy Lamiosis. That's not romantic. What else we got? Let's see. This looks like a Eucalyptus Cavernosis. Yes, my little one. Ah. Which matches the layman name for the cavernous eucalyptus. <laughs> I prefer the scientific name. Okay. This plant is called Tarata Tata. It could be useful. All right, we'll take the leaf. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. 
assume we're not interested in anything there. Well, Phil, do you want to talk about plants real quick here? What a mess, D -D Detective Callow. I have no more tears. N -n no more words. He's got nothing. Uh, when did you see the victims alive? So, when did you see the... Uh, victims alive for the last time? J -j -j just three hours ago. Three hours ago, they were alive and vital. It's awful quick. Just when I came back from my stroll. Y you were patrolling the area, I guess. Correct. <laughs> How can you remember what time it happened? I have just watered them, as I do every day, every three hours. That's a lot of work. What's your job? Y job? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I have a job at water plants. Can you tell me about the daily habits of the victims? My treasures arose very early in the m morning, and as soon as they woke up, they called me with their unmistakable scent. Now, where were we? Uh, oh, there's more. Are you sure you didn't overlook something that could have caused this tragedy? Me neglecting my who would plants. kill the plants? They're my lifeblood. Then you have forgotten to water <laughs> them. Are no you kidding. I, I water them, or rather, I watered them every three hours, every day. It's a lot of watering. Tell me the truth. You killed them to embezzle <laughs> the insurance money. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are they even My insured? Plants. Uh, yes, oh. they were insured. They are insured. But I would have never done something like th th that. We were saying. Conducting my investigation, I found. Hmm. Shell casing. A broken window. It seems someone wanted to enter your mansion at all costs. Oh, yes. I saw that t t too. Do you suspect someone? I don't think I have enemies. Or any friends to t t tell the truth. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Uh, you can make what some friends. Do you mean? You live alone in a big mansion in the suburbs far away from everyone. You have a lot of money and pass your days watering the plants you're surrounded it's by. It's true. Uh, and? And you're not very smart. <laughs> Have you seen any creeps or weirdos sneaking around here? Just you. I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I don't meddle with the gross people of this city. Okay, no wonder you have no friends. Uh, n n n no offense, obviously. I'm used to it. Me and this city fist fight every day. You know, the rooster does have teeth. We were saying. Uh, okay, a shell casing. A shell casing. Is there something you forgot to tell me? Sorry, D -D -D Detective Gallo. I was so upset I c completely forgot it. Forgot what? That you killed your beloved plants with a gun? I won't answer to, 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 to any such insinuation. Hmm. That's all. That's all for now. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, this way. Okay, so I didn't really get anything out of that. Where would I get a romantic thing? What is possibly romantic? I don't see anything there. Hey, the traffic is moving now. The van's gone. Actually, I think the van was coming back just there. Where can I get something romantic? Let's take a look here, because I didn't look here before. Uh, up here? I have to show the smuggler card with the secret passphrase around to find out who fired the bullet. Something tells me that besides the shipment, 
I'll need to make several phone calls. Yes, how do I uh, close this out? There we go. So phone calls I did not make. I know I'll need one to turn off the light with the electric company. Let's check out the informant. Hi, Gallo. How's it going? Uh, let's see here. Can't you try something to improve your voice? Once I was a contralto in a disco band. We used to fill the pubs. <laughs> and I was known as the Nightingale. The audience loved me. But? And then? Then your usual nightly phone call wakes me up. <laughs> Maybe I forgot to tell you, but I have more important things to do. Than then why would, you, would you have called, Gallo? Gallo? Why would you have called? Hey, there's a little rat hole down here. Maybe he's got something romantic. I found a candle for kicks. Or perhaps I should say, the mouse hole chandelier. Ah, okay, I got a candle. Thankfully, it's out. I hate the stench these give. Maybe I can put the candle on the mural? Once I read that trying random actions makes you dumber for the rest of your life. Well, you know, I'm not entirely That'd sure what I have to do here. Candy bop. What do we got, Candy Bop? Good evening, Detective Gallo. What lovely circumstances bring you here? What do you find romantic? Nothing lovely at all, Candy Bop. Mm. What do you think of my mural? Oh, Gallo, you always know how to amaze me. Now, I always have you with me, and bigger. Too bad it's not romantic enough. Okay, but what do you think is romantic? How's business going? My booth heats up only when you're around. <laughs> I understand. You're Title of my sex day. The cockroaches are throwing around here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay. The color is slightly different on ones that I've asked. Slightly darker. Don't you feel any danger in this infamous part of the city? No, because I know you're nearby, ready to protect me. And when I'm not around? I have your photo. That fearsome look in your eyes drives every bad guy far away. It's my normal expression. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever thought about moving to another planet? Um, neighborhood? Planet. I'm fine here. I'm right near your office. That's why Thorn and I are always around to solve misdeeds. Stay tuned to my Detective Gallo lore video where I talk about how we're probably Maybe on a I'm different planet. You always talk like this, but then you come back. Yeah, I need a romantic thing. Maybe it's in the sewers. Right? Like, the sewer seems like a place I could go. Except, he doesn't want to open the manhole with his hands. It would take an instrument with some kind of leverage to open it. Okay. I don't think I've got what he's looking for then. Put that Why in the cocktail should. glass? No. I'm gonna use the cocktail glass on the mural. Other suggest. Yeah, I'm running out of things there. I'm running out of things to try. Hmm. Well, I can try going in here again. I can't think of anything where I was like. I think I should be able to use this. With this flower. If you so much as try to touch it, I'll eliminate your very name from the face of the earth. So he does not want to give me the flower. But he will give me a spray can. Full of pink paint. 
Ah, pink paint. Perfect. That's what I missed. Okay. Now I've got this figured out. So we're gonna go, we're gonna use the pink paint on the mural. Unless we have to talk to the kid again and get the kid the pink spray can and get the kid to paint her on there. That's also possible. Nope, good. He's gonna do it. How to ruin the profile <laughs> of a tough guy. Oh. So romantic, huh? Give me my photo. Regretfully, but with all my heart, I'm giving you this beloved photo. Great. Finally, I'm taking back what is mine. I don't think that's actually uh, ours. Okay, so I've got the envelope, right? I know it's on here somewhere. Right there, we're gonna now my stuff that in. in the envelope. Now we're gonna take the envelope and mail it in the letterbox. Sending an unsealed envelope. Okay, so I gotta seal the envelope with the wax. I wanna seal the envelope. I first need to melt the candle. So I need a flame to melt the candle to seal the envelope. With the wax. Okay, this is getting a little long. I'm gonna cut it here. I'm enjoying this game. I'm definitely gonna finish. Um, and then I might have uh, more complete thoughts afterwards, but I hope you've enjoyed this look at Detective Gallo. Comes out on the 17th on PS4 and Xbox One and Nintendo Switch. If you like adventure games, if you liked uh, classic LucasArts or King's Quest games, then go ahead and give it a look. I've certainly enjoyed it. Music's great. The voice acting is uh, pretty good. The art style is wonderful. And it's a Detective Noir, noir story. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you uh, would like to see more quick looks or any of the other content I do, you can subscribe, you can share, you can comment. I love to talk to commenters and I'd like to know what you think of uh, Detective Gallo of how it looks. Thanks again. Take care and I will see you next time.